It is Thursday, and so joining us now is In Focus Health correspondent Lynn Noam Mudu to talk about some free medical services being offered this weekend in Nigeria. Lynn Noam. That's right, Vincent. Over 1,000 children will receive some free medical services this weekend in Abuja at the Jikowi Medical Center in Karu. Health providers at the clinic say that this is part of a Health for All plan. The center will provide free services for malaria, eye care, deworming, and offer multivitamins. Organizers say they hope that the one-day event will become a yearly happening. For women in sub-Saharan Africa, giving birth can be life-threatening. Getting proper care is key to fighting maternal mortality. Grace Elias Magambe directs health programs for the Ilala Municipal Council of Tanzania. She talks about the challenges of maternal health care in her country. Uh, our main problem actually is the very high maternal mortality ratio in Tanzania. We are talking of about 578 women dying per every 100,000 live births. Okay. And uh, the reasons are many, actually, but I'll just talk about a few. Uh, one of them being um, uh, poor access to quality health services, yeah. And uh, the other one actually being um, a small coverage in terms of uh, a small coverage in family planning. So what would you attribute this lack of access to family planning? It, there are so many issues around, uh, starting from the community itself. There's a low acceptance rate of modern family planning because we have cultural issues behind, yeah. So actually majority of the people, uh, I mean this is an African culture that once a woman you're married, you're supposed to bear children. There's also another problem in accessing quality family planning services. You know the infrastructure, okay. Uh, some women live very far, men and women actually, from the health facilities. We have erratic supplies in contraceptives, yeah, and so we have uh, different, uh, I mean, we have frequent stockouts, yeah, so this again is another problem. As a member of the core team uh, with uh, regards to HIV care, uh, what is the, the impact that you've seen HIV having on the whole issue of, um, you know, reproductive health? Actually, you know, when HIV AIDS came in, yeah, it was a tragedy. So, first of all, all the donors deviated from reproductive health and child health and family planning towards HIV AIDS care and treatment. So even our governments, they did the same. You coordinated two campaigns regarding breast and cervical cancer. Now, yes. with, with the fact that you just mentioned that, uh, you know, all the focus seemed to have shifted to to HIV AIDS. Do you think that uh, diseases like breast cancer, cervical cancer, and other diseases that women are confronted with are being neglected uh, for HIV AIDS? Uh, yeah, I can say they were neglected, but now we are doing a lot of advocacy. Actually, that's why we even conducted that campaign, because we realized that, you know, non-communicable diseases were forgotten. So that's why we deliberately, you know, embarked on that huge campaign to raise awareness first in the community and then to ask women to come forward for screening. And then when the government saw this, actually, they, they decided to support us. Initially, when we started, we had to do a social mobilization in the community to raise fund for that. But after the, after the campaign had gone, beyond beyond the regions the government came in okay. well what are your wishes uh today uh to to ease your work considering you do you do so many things but it all boils down to uh, providing better care for women and families uh. my wish actually is to see that uh well our government and other partners okay to really invest in maternal health i really want to see people especially our countries okay taking a leading role in resource mobilization. And when I talk of resource mobilization, I mean both financial, technical, including commodities and equipments as well. And that's your health report. Back to you guys. Well, thank you very much, Lenore. That's quite uh, an insightful discussion there, just uh, you know how important it is to make sure that our, our mothers or sisters are well taken care of. And remember to watch for Lenore Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news right here on In Focus. And for more information on these stories, go to voaafrica.com.